Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to give partial credit for questions that you ask in Google Forms. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So you can see here I have my sample demo assessment set up with my standard multiple choice question of who was the first president of the United States. And then this question here, which is which two people in the following list were never president of the United States. And you can see there's my answer key. Now, the way that Google Forms works, it's going to not give students credit if they don't select both of these options. There's no option. Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can give partial credit for answers to questions that you ask via Google Forms. Let's go ahead and take a look at my sample Google Form here. You can see my first question, which is who was president of the United States, first president of the United States. That's a simple question with just one answer. But my next question has me asking students to identify which two people in this list were never president of the United States. And the way that Google Forms works, it's only going to give students full credit or no credit depending on how they answer here. So if students selected Ben Franklin and John Adams, it's not going to give them five out of 10 points. It's going to give them zero out of 10 points. So we need to be able to fix that. Likewise, I have this question here, which is what is the best way to get to Carnegie Hall? Well, for my short answer text, I'm not putting anything into my answer key because I want to read these answers and then give students scores for them. So let's take a look, first of all, at how students will view this. So I'm going to open up that preview, and we'll put in a sample student here. We'll call him Bob at bob.com, and he's going to answer this one. And here, he might select Ben Franklin and John Adams. And down here, he might write in practice and submit the answer. Now, when he goes to view his score, he's going to see that he got his first one right. He got his second one wrong, but he had one out of two. So maybe as a teacher, I want to give him some credit for that. And down here, it didn't give him any points at all because this is a question that's not being automatically graded. So as the teacher, what I'm going to do now is look at the responses themselves. And I can go through here and see these. And I can see my scores have already been released to the students. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open up a spreadsheet and in the spreadsheet i'm going to look at my responses this is practice oh that's pretty clever i'm going to give bob some points for that so i'm going to give him 10 points so now he's up to 10 now he's up to 20 out of 30 and he wrote ben franklin and john adams well i'm going to give him partial credit so i'll give him five points for that so now he has 25 out of 30 and then in my grade book, I will update that accordingly. So that's how you can give partial credit for answers that your students give to questions you've written in Google Forms. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.